Welcome to the Mods YouTube channel. My name's Michael. Today, we're gonna learn about Bernoulli's Principle. Hey, welcome back to the museum. I am here with our mad scientist again, Brady. Brady, thanks for being here. Today, we're talking Bernoulli's Principle. Brady, what is the easiest way to kind of de-scary, I guess, that word, Bernoulli's Principle, for our viewers? What's something that they can really relate to? So Bernoulli's Principle is one of the main concepts that uh, allows airplanes to fly. So that might be the oh. easiest thing to, and there's a lot of other factors in there with air pressure and stuff that we'll get to in just a minute, but if you could just visualize, visualize how an airplane flies, uh, has as much to do with the lift coming off the air of the top of the plane once it gets up to speed than it does with the air coming back in the bottom. Like you can see, if you can maybe just uh, give me a little stream of wind across the top of this paper. So if I just... And, well, maybe hold up the paper oh, okay. a little bit. All right, so if I hold this up. So if I blow on this, which way is the paper gonna go, viewers? It help us out, let's hypothesize for a second. If I blow down on the paper, which way is this gonna go? All right, here we go. So that's weird. So the paper's coming up because it's responding to the lift coming off of the jet stream. Uh, that is uh, that you're putting across the top of. Okay, that's awesome. So, so what other ways can we really like show this happening? Yeah. So since we don't have an airplane to take off, and like most <laughs> of us don't at home, uh, let's try a couple of quick little exercises. Okay. So, I want you to take this long plastic bag. That is a very big bag. All right. And I what want am you I to doing? see if you can blow it up like a balloon in three seconds. Three seconds. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Did I do it? Uh, a little bit, but I think we could maybe do a little better than that. So let's use Bernoulli's principle to see if we can try another method. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this out vertically. And I want you to take a stand back. All right. And just give one good breath of air just in the direction of the bat. And let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Oh. So that worked. That was one breath of air. Yeah, so where do you think the air that's filling the bag just came from? Well, I don't think I have that much air inside my body. I wouldn't think so unless you're Superman or something. Right, but, so... So what you just did was you just moved some of the air. You created what we call a jet stream. Uh, and when the air is moving, the pressure of that air that's moving is a lot lower than the uh, high pressure stagnant air that's around it. So what you just did was you created a jet stream of low pressure and anything that uh, is around that stream of low pressure is gonna follow that in. So right? all the air on the outside here followed all of that air yeah. into the bag. Got it, okay. I'll show you another example with the straw and a ping pong ball. Oh, so it's just, it's floating there. Okay, and you're just using the breath. It's floating there, but again, through the straw, I'm creating a jet stream. Okay. Where the air is moving, it's a lot lower pressure than the air around it. So around that jet stream is basically like this force field. If you hear like the, the, the weather people on the news talking about uh, low pressure system and this storm is following through, it's because that air is moving and things are just gonna follow through that jet stream. Just like you or anybody else, we all like to be where there's not a lot of pressure on us. So there's, if there's a stream of low pressure, things are gonna follow it through. So this ball is going to stay in the stream of low pressure uh, until something knocks it out of it. Awesome. And so what do we got here? We got one more. So this is one more, uh, kind of the same concept, oh. but we're gonna do it a little differently. This funnel has a dome shape to it. Okay. So again, this is kind of taking us through how wind and how air pressure responds to different structures. And again, in the real world, this means buildings or mountain ranges or something. So I want you to put the ball in the funnel and just uh, hold it upside down for a bit and then blow into the, that side of the funnel. Blow Just into the funnel. Blow into the funnel with the ball there. So what do we think is gonna happen if I blow into this funnel with a ping pong ball, and I'm assuming I'm gonna let go of the ping pong ball, correct? Let go of the ping pong ball, okay. and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. All right, so here we go. It stayed there. So the ball stayed there, yes, because when you're creating the low pressure moving air, the jet stream, now, since you have a structure there, it's being cuffed around and put into that little dome structure and creating a little uh, whirlwind of low pressure that the ball kind of stays in. 
That was absolutely so cool. All right, well, hope you guys learned something today. I know I did. Thank you, Brady, and thank you for joining us. Everybody have a good one. We want to thank the Emil Bueller Perpetual Trust for sponsoring today's video, and make sure you subscribe below.